Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. I'm in Minnesota, and uh, Pet has his beautiful rose hips plant. So we're going to use some rose hips today with this uh, plantain. So I'm going to pick some, and this is what they look like. I haven't been able to grow any, and uh, been kind enough to let me take some seeds home with me. And it doesn't take a whole lot. But you see all these red things? Those are rose hips. So the roses bloom and then the hips form. It's really cool. So we're going to get a couple dozen of these and we'll be ready to go. So here's the rose hips in the food processor and we're going to go ahead and chop them up. Bear forgot how to use the oster. It's been away from you for a whole year. I know. And I can't get it to latch. So now we're just going to pulse it. You just chop them up as much as you want. The more chopped they are, probably the more um, vitamins and minerals you'll be able to get out of the skin. Now, if you're going to be eating these, the seeds can be an irritant because they have a hair on them. So if you if you want, you can pop the seeds out. You're going to be. They're much better after the first frost. They're really sweet. And there we go. We're going to put them in a pan now with some olive oil. So we have a half a cup of coconut oil in here, and we're going to throw the rose hips in here. We're going to infuse them for 20 minutes to get all the goodies out of it and then we're going to strain it. And as you see we're leaving the seeds in because I'm not going to eat this. We're going to make like a lotion and oil. So we're going to set this on the stove and get it infusing and we'll see you in 20 minutes. Alright so now you want to strain your rose hips and you don't want to eat, you know, use the seeds and the petals but I've been mashing it with the back of the spoon and that's how I knew it was ready, when I could mash these really easy and mush them around. So you get all those vitamins and minerals out of there. And these are loaded with vitamin C. Toward the end of the video, I'll give you a, uh, a readout of what everything is in here and what it's all good for. But right now, we're just going to focus on making it. So you're going to let that cool down just a hair, because we're not going to waste any of that oil that's in this cheesecloth. Now, you guys all know, my left hand don't feel nothing, so <laughs> I don't wait, but you need to wait, okay? And you're just going to, so you got to do it this way, because you can't feel your left hand, so. And just squeeze it out, because that's all good oil in there, and you want that. Now, look at the color of the coconut oil. It's now a different color. It's almost a yellowy color. And that's because of the rose hip oil. And you could also see it on the cheesecloth. You can see the yellow color. And that is because of the rose hips. So you know you got the essence in there. So once we get this squeezed out, we are now going to put it back in the pot. And I'm going to take cheese wax. Cheese wax. I am going to take beeswax that I have here. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of this paper towel and I'm going to wipe these seeds out of my pot. Because I don't like to do dishes, so I am not using separate pots. Just wipe it out. Put it in your little pile. And most of you probably know how you get rose hips. Quit cutting your flower blooms off. Leave them on. And if you're lucky, you'll start getting rose hips. I've been trying with my plants for three years, and I might have told you this already. And I don't have any. So, that's giving me rose hips. We're going to pour this back in the pot. I can't figure out the zoom, so I'm just walking towards you. That's fine. And now we're going to throw our beeswax back in. And we're going to melt this together. 
And that's it, folks. I'll show you when it's done. So it only takes a second to melt that little bit of wheat beeswax. So now we're going to pour it in our jar for storage. And you want to keep as much air out of it as possible so that it doesn't lose its potency. Good one. You totally pulled that one out of your ass, didn't I you? Did. Hope you don't forget to pull that out of the video. What? That you pulled that out of your ass. Oh, you're videotaping me. Yeah, I pulled it out of my ass. You ass. With my big nose. Good thing it's on your camera. I might <laughs> sabotage you. Okay, so that night, when I pulled in to the barn and that van was parked right smack dab in the middle of the two pillars and I could barely get around him. Okay, so I pull in and I almost got rear-ended. And I pull in and I snuck around him and he's in my driveway. No, What's he doing in your driveway? I don't know. I'm like, what the F is this guy doing in my driveway? And there, no lights on in the van, no, like, you know, flashers, nothing. I don't know. It's, it's just a dark not. van, white dark van in your driveway. Yeah. Okay. So Dude. I pull in and my barn is, you know, remember, it's way back and then there's that house up by the road. And so I pull in and I back up into the driveway of the guy that's that lives at the house and I'm starting to call him. All of a sudden, somebody knocks. Oh my gosh. On the Jeep window, which is the sliding window. All right, so I'm fully loaded. I got my <laughs> Derringer somewhere. I don't know what concealment carry, but it's somewhere because I can. Okay, and I've got my mace and I've got knives and I've got, okay. So I look out my window and there's this guy standing in pitch dark outside my window and I was so mad, I, I wasn't even scared. I slide my window open, I'm like, what did you do? Is that your fan? You get out of me out of your fan, parked in the, I almost did it. I came here and I told, and I'm, I'm pissed. What are you doing parked in my drive? I'm freaking out at this guy. And I, and then I noticed he's standing there with a hammer in his hand. Oh my goodness. So then I go to reach for my mace. <laughs> I'm like looking at him with the, with the hammer and I'm reaching for mace and I'm ready to mace him. <laughs> I was so, but I was still so mad. It wouldn't have mattered if it was mace or not, I would have whooped his butt. And you know what he was doing? Oh yeah, we got the liquor store down the road. We're having a wine tasting thing and we're just going to put a thing on your, your, in your yard up there. And that's what the hammer was for. By the, the soybeans, if it's okay. Are you kidding me? You almost, I, and I shoot him on. I'm like, you almost got killed. Just not. You know, I brought this up. I tried to light a cigarette with my puffer today. She goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> she just talk to us and she's like. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't light. <laughs> yeah. I went to reach, because it was, I always have mace and knife, a knife in my little ashtray and I almost gave him really good ones. 